of Engineers, Omaha District, completed construction of more than nine miles of temporary levees around critical public infrastructure in Bismarck and Mandan on June 5, 2011. Brigadier General John McMahon, the commanding officer of the Northwestern Division and Omaha District Commander Colonel Robert Rook, toured levees in the Bismarck-Mandan area as part of a larger tour of the flood fight in the Missouri River Basin. As water begins to rise against the temporary flood protection measures, the role of the Corps transitions from one of construction into surveillance, providing technical assistance to city, county, and state officials, as well as the National Guard, on how to monitor the protection measures. To that end, the Corps has conducted several training sessions for the National Guard and other agencies as they begin 24-hour surveillance on the structures. The surveillance is needed as high releases continue out of Garrison Dam. By mid-June, those releases are projected to reach 150,000 cubic feet per second. With that amount of water flowing through the Missouri River, the river's stage is expected to rise several more feet. By slowly ramping up the releases out of Garrison Dam, however, the Corps of Engineers has bought precious time to allow for the construction of temporary levees to reduce the risk of flooding to critical infrastructure, as well as give communities the opportunity to implement flood fight plans and take steps to protect life and private property. One of the most valuable commodities in a flood fight is good information. The Corps is committed to providing real-time information and critical updates on its website, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Included in this repository are inundation maps that can help officials and residents plan for the coming floodwaters. The fight has just begun, and the summer will be long for the communities and people affected. But as always, the Corps stands ready to provide technical assistance to city, county, and state agencies engaged in flood fighting. To find out more about the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers flood fight efforts, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.